Hello friends and welcome to my channel. Today we are planning out the week of May 6th through the 12th. Um, this week I'm using the Scribble Prince Co. January 2024 Mystery Kit. I decided to use this kit this week because it's not only Mother's Day, but it is also my mom's birthday. And flowers just remind me of my mom. And so I thought for combining both birthdays, this art just kind of gave me that vibe, um, being that they're both in spring. And I did decide to use the blue bottom washi because my mom is a blue girly, not like a pinky girly. And then I have these doodles from Plan With Me Stickers monthly subscription that just match perfectly. And then I have the foil from um, the mystery sub. I just decided to keep it together. And for some reason I was thinking it was matte bronze, but it's definitely matte gold. And you'll even see I put a matte bronze icon on one of the days, but we're just gonna live with it. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so yes, <laughs> it's just wild. Um, I have so many thoughts racing through my head that I don't even know where to begin. But this week was a lot of, was an interesting week. I shouldn't say it was a lot of fun because it wasn't always. Um, the first like half of the week, my mental health was down the drain. I was really struggling, having a lot of breakdowns, crying sessions. And then to top it all off, we had really bad storms. We had tornado warnings. And depending on which parent you ask, they had a tornado go through their neighborhood or it was just really, really strong straight line winds. But either way, they did have damage to their property. Um, luckily, the house was okay, but they did have a tree fall down and crush their fence. They had somebody's roof and part of a roof in their front yard. Um, like every neighbor had a tree fall, so they were very, very lucky and I couldn't have had a complete opposite experience at my house. I was actually sitting on my couch. I think I was recording a voiceover or trying to, to distract myself. And everything was like, good. And then my mom calls me and instantly by the tone in her voice, I know something's wrong. And she was calling to make sure I was safe and in my safe space because of the extreme weather they were getting. But y'all, it wasn't, there was no wind, there was no rain, there was nothing here. It was still, I was like in a completely different world than my parents were at that time, which is kind of crazy. Um, but yes, luckily everybody's okay in their neighborhood because um, that could have been a lot worse. But of course, that was also emotionally taxing. Um also this week, I didn't get to see my mom on her birthday because I have work, but that same day, my dad had surgery on one of his eyes. He had a, he had surgery on both eyes, but they do them at different times. I want to say it was for cataracts, um, and he's a psychopath and was like, no, I don't need anesthesia. I'll just do it awake, so there's that which is still wild to me. Also, if you hear Lucy, she's laying right next to my phone right now, so you might hear her. She's begging for some love and attention from me right now. Um, when I'm recording this voiceover, I'm getting ready to leave for a big trip, and I am so anxious to leave her. This will be the longest by far I've ever been away from her. The longest at this point is 14 days, and this trip is 24, so um, I'm going to have a real hard time with this. Um, really, I'm so anxious to leave her. It's terrible she'll be with my dad so she'll be looked after but oh I don't sleep well without her and I'm just highly dreading it also this was the week I got back on my planning game I oh, bless you Lou I had kind of fallen off the planning wagon a bit but this week I uploaded four videos in one day which kind of sounds like today um I'm planning on doing three today so that you all have videos while I'm gone. 
And then I also got to FaceTime and have a movie date with Keaton this week, which was just everything. We watched Raya and the Last Dragon and got to just catch up on our lives with each other because we both had some tea, some gossip to spill. And then um, it was Mother's Day on Sunday. So I went over to my parents' house to celebrate with my mom and also to celebrate her birthday since we didn't get a chance to earlier in the week and we just hung out by the pool and had a great old time. Um, it was my first time being in their pool since they put it in and it was just really nice and relaxing. I haven't been in a pool that's like deep enough to like swim in or submerge my head in since moving which is the longest by far I've gone without swimming in a pool my entire life um I do have like my little inflatable pool that I sit on my patio to cool off in the summer but that's different than like a pool that you can swim in so that was fun and then also that day I finally got to try the Dr. Pepper milkshake from Whataburger and it was everything I wanted it to be. There's no Whataburgers close to me, but there's some close to my parents' house. It was like the perfect excuse to get one. And it was a nice little treat after swimming in the pool and all that. And I drank it on my drive home. And then by the time I drove that like hour home, I was exhausted between like the pool day just I was just like ready for a nap um so that was my awesome mother's day which you'll hear more about or less about I guess I just explained all of mother's day to you um not intentionally but those were like the big highlights of the week I also started um legs get it intermediate this week um and the week I'm currently on is the week I'm gonna finish it so that works out well with my trip being planned. Um, and then I don't know what I'm planning on doing fitness wise when I return. So if any of you want to do any kind of workout programs or challenges or anything like that together, let a girl know. I'd be very interested in partnering, partnering up with some of you. I know we've done it in the past and it's just like really fun. Um, and we could all use some motivation, or at least I know I can. Um, I really like how my sidebars have been turning out recently. I don't know. I, I feel like I've just been in a really happy planner spread place right now. I feel like everything's turning out how I want it to. I know I've said this in like every plan with me. But I'm nervous to plan the weeks of the trip because trip weeks are always intimidating just because you have so much like writing on them. You want to do them justice to commemorate your trip and you want to include everything. There's just a lot of planner math involved and I'm sure it'll be fine. But yeah, um, I cannot believe it's like been a month from this <laughs> spread that we're doing here. I'm recording this voiceover on June 12th, so you'll see it even almost like a month after that, which makes me almost want to vomit. Um, I think, I think I'll be back in the United States when this video goes live. I think maybe, so if comments have been delayed for a few weeks, just know I will get back to each and every one of you. Um, if you've ever traveled out of the country, sometimes keeping up with YouTube and social media is hard, especially since like this is a hobby of mine. Um, and I also don't know how we're like access to internet is going to work and how much I'm going to have access to internet, although I feel like I'll need to just because I'll need my phone. I don't know. Um, I'll figure it out, though. I'm calling the phone company, actually, when I finish this voiceover to let them know that I'm going to be out of the country. So, um, what are y'all's big summer plans? Other than this, for me, I just have one other, like, it's not a trip. Somebody's coming to visit. Uh, my best friend, Jessica, is coming to visit. 
But other than that, I have it low key because this trip is, this trip is going to be one of those vacations that while it is going to be so much fun and be exciting and everything I could have ever imagined, I might need a vacation from my vacation. Um, cause it's just going to be a lot. I'm so intimidated by this trip that it's part of my anxiety leading up to it. Apart from just like the normal amount of travel anxiety I get, um, and Lucy separation anxiety I get, this one's just extra anxiety ridden, um. Cause I don't know why I have, I have a really big concern about sleep on this trip, um, yeah, I just don't, mom and I don't sleep well when we're together because we have an opposite sleeping style. She likes the TV blasting and on all night and that'll drive me up a wall. I cannot stand light. I cannot stand flickering light. I'm that person that covers up, like puts black stickers over the TV lights. Um, and I like my sound machine. So I just don't, I just don't know how we're gonna navigate sleeping or not sleeping together for 24 days. So wish me luck with that. But moving into the week we're on, Monday, May 6th, the first thing I did was wake up and play some Disney Dreamlight Valley. And then this day, my dad and Tito came by to do the lawn, like they do most Mondays, especially when it gets warmer and it starts growing super fast. Then, like I said, I started my new workout program, and I did my glutes and hamstrings workout. Then this day, I was in my feelings. I actually think my dad did something to enhance that, but I don't quite remember what it was. He was probably just being a jerk. Then I did some planning, finishing the previous week, and I watched Below Deck. Moving into Tuesday, May 7th, it was my mom's birthday, so I had to highlight that, like, front and center, and then, like I said, this was the day of my dad's first eye surgery. Then I did my makeup and went to work, um, which was always, you know, working when a loved one is in surgery or something is just always interesting. Um, and then after work, I went tanning, and then this day, I did my chest, shoulders, and tricep workouts, and to mark my workouts every single day this week, I'm using those little daisy stickers from Carly Plans. Then I played more Disney Dreamlight Valley, and this night, being in my feelings, just continued, which is unfortunate. Then moving into Wednesday the 8th, I did my makeup this morning and I went to work and like the tornado warnings started like right after I got home from work and continued most of the night. Then I just used a little once more with love munchkin pointing to the tornado to mark that my parents house received damage. Again, dad says it was a tornado. Mom says it was straight line winds. I trust mom more. Dad likes to exaggerate in the news or nobody ever confirmed a tornado. Um, and then I had a breakdown like after the phone call with mom and all that just because it was really scary. And then I played more Disney Dreamlight Valley to try to distract myself. And Olivia slept in my bedroom this night just for safety in case I had to wrangle her up and put her in her, her crate. Um, in our safe spot, which is connected to my bedroom. So, uh, yeah, but I don't usually sleep well when Olivia's in my bedroom because she kind of keeps me up all night. So, yeah, there's the close-up of the first half of the week moving into Thursday the 9th. Um, my plan with me for that girl went live, so I will link it up above. And then this day, I was just so drained. It wasn't even that I was tired from not sleeping well, just it was emotionally, like physically, just completely exhausted and drained. So I did some planning, and then this was the day that I uploaded four videos, which I could have just included in planning. But considering I had been in such a funk, it seemed like such a monumentous occasion. I should just mark it. And then I think this was the day I started watching Below Deck Mediterranean. And then to round out my evening, I played Disney Dreamlight Valley. And then moving into Friday, it was payday. 
and I did my makeup and I went to work. Then I did some tanning and I ran some errands after work and came home and did my glutes and hamstrings workout and then relaxed for the evening with some Disney Dreamlight Valley. Moving into Saturday the 11th, I woke up this morning and played Disney Dreamlight Valley and then I went ahead and did my back and biceps workout and I continued watching Below Deck Med. Um, I did my makeup and I went to work and then when I got home from work this evening, I FaceTimed Keaton and we watched Raya and the Last Dragon. Any of the Raya stickers I have didn't match the colors of the spread, so I just went ahead and used a generic Disney Plus sticker. Moving into Sunday the 12th, this was Mother's Day, so I marked it with my Plan With Me stickers, um, doodle subscription hat that matched so well, and then I did drive to my parents' house, which meant I was probably listening to whatever book I was on at the time. And then I just used a Coffee Monsters Co. pool sticker to mark that we had a pool day. I thought it was cute because it was my mom and I in the pool. And then NASCAR was on and it was the Darlington race. This was the icon I accidentally put in in matte bronze. And then after the race, I went ahead and put in that I got my Dr. Pepper milkshake, which was so good. And then I went home and passed out and took a nap. And then I played some Disney Dreamlight Valley. Here is a close-up of the second half of the week. I think this kit would have been really pretty color blocked. I just wasn't sure I had enough of some of the colors to make it work. And I actually really enjoyed not color blocking this week. Um, but don't worry, I'll be back on my color blocking nonsense soon enough, I promise. Here are the scripts that I formatted myself, and they are in matte gold from Plana Hannah. And I will have the font I used linked down below because I really enjoy this font a lot. It's one of like my favorites that I've found in a long time. Um, and I'm just really enjoying still the foiled scripts. I can't believe I've been doing that for almost a year now. I don't even think about going back to just black every week. I am thinking about investing in my own supplies to foil my scripts, but I got to get through this trip first um, before I can think about spending my money on other like things like that. But here is your final wiggle of this spread. This is my first time using matte gold, and I do really like how it came out. But that's going to bring us to our final close-up. Friends, if you've made it this far, thank you so much. You are my people. Just know if you are struggling, you are not alone. My DMs are open for you on Instagram. It is Rosie Plans, like it is here. Smash that red subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out as a small time content creator. If you do, leave any questions down below as well. I hope you all have a good day, night, evening, afternoon, wherever, whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, friends.